About three or four years ago, I did this place under my uh, Spain abandoned because this was an abandoned urbanization. Now, we're going back 2008, maybe, I don't know. I'll put that below just in case. <laughs> I don't want to get the dates wrong. But it's when the banks collapsed in Spain. And what happened, the bank pulled this place because it didn't want to lose any money. So since then, it's all been locked up. It's got a uh, on-site security to look after these lovely properties i must say uh now there's 58 of these properties up for sale um i'll be showing you two of the show houses here one's the semi-detached one's detached the second one i can't believe you could put i oh, no joke you could put an olympic size swimming pool it's massive um well another thing i will say if you want to get in contact with the agent I'll put all the details below, uh, the email, the contact details, because guys, don't get in contact with me. I'm no salesperson, but guys, you're gonna love these two places I'm gonna be showing you. I mean, look at today, we're talking end of March 26. Lovely. Anyway, enjoy the video. I will be coming back later on in the year to see how it's getting on. So yeah, enjoy. So this is Julio. Hello. I've got the name right, haven't I? Julia, yes. Yeah, Julia. <laughs> and she's the, the sales lady that will show you around these properties anyway. But today, she's going to show me around two show houses on the complex here. And this is a... Linum 3E, yeah. semi-detached. Semi-detached, that's what <laughs> we're looking at. And the price of this property? 240,000. 240,000 without the tax. Anyway, so we step this way. We've got to go straight in through the main entrance. Welcome to Los Altos. That's it. So we've gone straight into the lounge. Uh, you can see there, if you wanted, you can have a log fire. Um, but there is, you will notice around the rooms, the air system, the furniture that you see, um, you, you will be having. But you can change the style of this furniture. But obviously, the decoration side of it, you, that would be included. But anyway, nice big, nice big room. You've got a, a dining room area there. Over in the far corner, we'll just have a look at the kitchen as well. So we go into the kitchen. The kitchen's fully kitted out with all white goods. Um, so you've got a nice granite top there. You've got a uh, washing machine, dishwasher, uh, oven. And you've got this big open space here. So you can do a lot more things. You could have, probably have an American-sized freezer in there. You've got a freezer there anyway, but you could see that it's big enough. You've also got your serving hatch that looks back over, back into the main room again. We go outside in a moment, so we just come out. And we just, I've just noticed already you've got an intercom system as well. So anybody outside wants to come in, you can just let them in. So going back out into the porch, You've got a staircase going up there. We'll go up there in a moment, but we're gonna go outside onto uh, the Sun Terrace. Now at the moment, we're sort of midday, so the sun's coming round. It's always nice to be in a bit of shade. So you've got a big plot. You've got um, parking there, off-road parking. You've got steps going down. The garden's already been done. If you're not into gardening, pushing me. We're just looking around there. You've got a, uh, a door from the kitchen area. So we're just showing the, the size of the property. Nice big size property. So 
Is that the boss? My boss. Is that your boss? <laughs> so anyway. He's just we're, visiting we're, us. Yeah, we'll just go back in. We'll go back indoors. Um, I think, I'm right in thinking, there's a bedroom downstairs. With another solarium or terrace. All right. So I'm right in think, so you, uh, so it's a bit dark in here, guys. Sorry about that. So it, yeah, this is one of the bedrooms here, and you can see already double-sized bed. You've got built-in wardrobes. Very nice. You, so in the in the centre, you've got your bathroom downstairs bathroom. Um, I'm sorry, I can't put, if I put a light on guys, so you've got a walk-in shower, sink, Man. and I would presume, yeah, behind the door is the toilet. Lo pronto, no? Esta era la, so I'm going to go back into the other bedroom. What they've done here is put two single beds in here. Nice, nice layout again. You've got the um, blinds down at the moment. So it gives you some idea of the light. You've got your air system up there. I and mean, what I mean by the air system, it'd be cold and hot. And once fitted in, you can control the temperature. So you've got each room will have its own temperatures. So now we're going to go upstairs now. This is going to be interesting. Because Big enough staircase, that's for sure. Sometimes you can get quite narrow staircases, but you've got a nice staircase yeah, there. a good size. So, so I would say, Possible. This is probably the master bedroom because you've got uh, like doors there that open out out onto the road where he was. Nice view, especially for people that love mountains. You've got built in wardrobes there. You've got a nice ensuite uh, bathroom there. With a shower in the corner, it is pretty spacious, I must say, with its bidet and toilet. And then we come out onto the uh, roof terrace. And if you notice as well, you've got lighting up there as well. Sort of look with view over the garden. Uh, and there's the communal area where you would have use of the swimming pool there and obviously the park a bit of shade put your feet up there it is there now the guys obviously still working on it at the moment ongoing <coughs> ongoing progress So this, so that's it really. So the name again? Linum 3E. The Linum 3E. Three, three bedrooms, and corner. Two, and price again? 240,000. 240. And this is the lady that will tell you all the information you know, guys. Anyway, we're gonna go and look at another show house now, just across the road, so we've got far to go. Let's go. So here's Julio again. Hello. We're at the second show house. Now this one is all by itself. You know what I mean? It's uh, a lovely villa, guys. It's it's massive. Um, we will go around the back, but we're gonna walk in through the entrance here. And just before we do that, so what's the price of this one, Julia? Two hundred and sixty-nine thousand. Two hundred and sixty-nine thousand less the tax. Mm -hmm. Right. So off we go. Welcome to Straight. the detached. Detached asset. Detached. Those <laughs> words. So, you've got a lovely high ceiling, guys. Look at that, eh? Um, so this is like the dining area. Obviously, you've got the nice seating area there. Um, and as I said before, the furniture will come with it and you can choose a different style. It's obviously telly there, your nice log fire there. Uh, and we're looking, it's, I mean, it's, I can't say it's massive, because it's bigger than massive, 
it's gigantic. <laughs> uh, you've got lots of, lot, lots of window space as well. We're going to go into the kitchen now. And just before I do that, I'll just mention about the air system again as well. You'll find out in every room you go into. So, same as before, you've got your washing machine, dishwasher, electric oven, plenty of space in there. Um, I noticed in that corner you've got a, a freezer there, you could put in the American style freezer. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. Leaning over the top there. Cocktails, anybody? So, we're going to go down and have a look at the bedrooms now. Um, just before we go out of the kitchen, you've got your intercom system there. So if you've got visitors. So we go back down the corridor. Uh, three bedroom property. Plenty of space. So this one's been done out with twin beds. You've got the air con just above my head. And you've got your built in wardrobes there. Also, plenty of sockets about as well, which is um, good. Now, straight in front of us is a storage cupboard. You've also got your water heater in there as well. So you've got plenty of space there to put all your stuff. Nice high ceiling. We've got another spare bedroom here. Bedroom two, we've got a double bed in here. Another window looking out. We will talk about the rear garden in a moment. Built-in wardrobes, got your air con there. And don't forget also that, that would be your heating as well, guys. So we'd go, go back out, we'd go into the master bedroom. Look at that, eh? Massive. You've got plenty of windows, lots, you've got lots of natural light coming in. So that's looking out into the rear of your garden. I mean, look at, look at the storage space, it's just big. I mean, you've got nice high ceilings, built in wardrobes. We've gone into their en suite, which is lovely. Marble top. You've got a lovely walk-in space there for your shower. Right, and now I'm going to show you something massive, even bigger outside that you could just put your dream in, especially if you wanted to, most people are going to do it, is have your own pool. So we go out through the patio doors onto the, the outside area. Now, just imagine that, eh? Sat there with your cocktails, looking over your your pool that's not there at the moment, but you can put a pool in. Now Julio said, you can have an Olympic style swimming pool because it's just, it's just massive. Can't believe how big it is. I mean, what, what's the plot sizes? 820 square Eight, meters. 820 square meters. I mean, you could probably put two swimming pools here. Mm. One uh, like a hot spring spa thing. I'm just going to go over to this end. It could take me a while to walk across here. But as you can see also, the guns are all really being um, laid out as well. So you've got to worry about gardening, unless you're a garden buff, of course. But that, look at that. That's a lovely, and it's a lovely style villa, guys. So we're going to walk around to the right here, because um, you've got another sort of, I suppose it could be the barbecue area. Uh, another sunspot, really. And also, I can see there, you've got, you can car off the road there. So you've got plenty of space, three or four cars easily. Or a bus. Or a bus, yeah. <laughs> a couple of camper vans. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Double deckers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so this is um, another area here. I suppose it's like the courtyard. For laundry, for barbecue. For yeah, yeah. Not covered little, area. Little play area for the kids, I suppose. Very nice. 
Um, we just we come in through the front now, but that's, that's the front, that's the gates. So another big entrance there. I'll tell you, we'll, we'll walk round the back here because um, I've, I've got a question for Julio here. What's this? What's this then? For the aircon machine. Oh, the aircon machine. Yeah. Right. No, we won't want to see it. <laughs> it's only a box, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, yeah. just nothing the in, space yeah. to put the, the machine. So it's not. I thought maybe it was a, a basement. A basement? Uh, no, it's just yeah, the it's structure. Just a box. Yeah. The so they haven't got. Obviously, there's no basement series, is there? No. No. You don't need a basement, guys. There is an empty space, but just to to for the air to. Yeah. Yeah. Just. just the system. air to breathe. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's a bridge. So we're going back around the back of the garden again now. The other thing I, w I want to point out as well, guys, is obviously the sun comes up right to our left. So the sun comes right round, right round, probably ends about there. So you, All day. All day. That's not bad, is it? And just look at that blue sky. That's not fake. That's real blue sky up there. There's no clouds up there. I mean, the other thing as well, if you can listen, you can listen to the birds. And I haven't got my, my Mikey thing on, but it's going to be a thing, that. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I will put up some other shots of the properties as well. But as always, if you've got any questions, Julio's the one to ask. I'll give you a, uh, a number, email, and contact details because obviously a lot of people have got other, lots of questions to ask and I can't ask them. So yeah. I'll be here for you. <laughs> You'll be there for you. Yes. Thank you.